hello my beautiful people welcome back so we are going to be making delicious rice at this keep watching thank you <laughs> welcome back again everyone thank you so much for coming so here i am washing all the uh items i have red bell pepper habanero pepper onion and uh, fresh tomatoes here okay though my habanero peppers i didn't uh, slice them like i blended them in the stew which i will be also using for this rice and beans okay so it is very healthy to eat rice and beans together that way we have protein and we have carb but i said our diet is very very important if you're new here my name is chineva i'm from nigeria i've been to lifestyle modification i do mostly cooking detoxification and healthy tips in this channel okay yeah feel free to be part of us how to support this channel to grow thank you so much to my returnees thank you so much for coming let's keep watching here i'm just prepping everything slicing the tomatoes now yeah I'm, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up thank you <laughs> Before I forget, uh, I want to say uh, thank you to my husband, brother, uh, who brought this uh, choppy board uh, from Kuwait for us. Okay, thank you so much, sir. The cutting board is so helpful and it's so cute. Thank you. Okay, beautiful people. So I'll try to bring out all my spices out. Of course, I'm not going to use all the spices, but they are the three so that I can just pick any one I want so over here I have my clay pot I have my beans I've already cooked the beans to perfection so it's soft and I have my leftovers stew and I have all my spices here I have curry powder turmeric and I have uh, COVID uh, feel free to use any spice of your choice those ones you are comfortable with Everybody knows that I love putting paprika in my food. So over the clay pot, I'm going to be adding my olive oil. The pot may be wet. It doesn't matter because I don't have intention of frying my food. So I just added little oil. The quantity of oil matters in your food also. So people like more oil. If you are using good oil, okay, it can be moderate, but I use more oil. So I added salt, paprika, and I added uh, curry powder, and red onion. I'm sorry if my voice is not sounding clear, just because I am not feeling too well. So over there are all the sliced vegetables, tomatoes, bell pepper, and onion. I just put everything and set them up. So I'll go ahead now to add my grinded type. Okay. Yeah. Add also one more cube. I just added just one. You know why? Because I have chicken perfect fish, which is also good. With the perfect which you can cook your meal without adding any other any other seasoning so i just added my perfect fish now it's so good for your cooking so i added my bell leaf yeah feel free like i said feel free to use all the ingredients you have okay when you're cooking your food but if you want to replicate my recipe, feel free I use them. They are so good. 
so for you to know the quantity of those ingredients start putting this small small and test your food so i just wash washed my strip which i'm going to be adding now okay i have fair oil strip i don't know why i like that last part of the strip the tail side to suck it that is why i don't really usually <laughs> remove it okay i just added it and stir them up you see the stew is doing well already <laughs> but we still have leftover stew to add okay the last thing we are going to be doing is to wash uh crayfish if you don't have crayfish it's okay you can go ahead to cook your food that way but because i have crayfish and if you want crayfish it's from nigeria you can order crayfish from Amazon, okay? If you are in a boat where they don't have crayfish, order from Amazon. So I'll go ahead now to add my crayfish because this adds so much flavor, so good taste to your food. That is why you can see any Nigeria, you cannot see any Nigeria cooking food without crayfish, except we don't have it. So I'll go over now to add my leftovers to you. Yeah, because everything we test good here, yeah? and uh, immediately we get this to settled and way tasted. Our food is ready because the rice, the beans is already boiled. So I want to make sure that everything is a perfect taste before I will add them and our food is ready. Keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, subscribe and share share to your community share to everyone you have okay subscribe to promote to help check tv to grow now our stew is ready because i covered the stew for five minutes and the shrimp is also ready so i'm going ahead now to remove the stew from the pot Okay, my beautiful people so with the remaining stew we are going to be adding water we add water mix the rice and beans together stir them up and then add the other half of the stew we removed okay hope you get this because i didn't show it in the camera yes i have already mixed the rice and beans i have added the shrimp the other all the other stew I removed are all there you can see how delicious this is looking yes at this time you want to check if they are soft if they are okay the taste is good you can adjust one or two but for me I made sure that everything was perfect so the taste is good and voila our food is ready so easy to make and so delicious you cannot forget to enjoy your beans like this so i go ahead to eat it with vegetables i did salad and i also steamed some broccoli and beans vegetables thank you so much everyone for watching don't forget to toss up the video okay and subscribe thank you lot i see you in my next one bye bye